the card that I pulled for you, Cancer, is rhodochrosite. This is like a man, just a, a, a major heart healing card. I know we know rose quartz tends to the heart, but I mean card, crystal, but crystal depicted on the card, I guess. Um, rose quartz is a, is a heart healing crystal as well. This one is a powerful, powerful stone, the heart reviver. Um, it will teach your heart to open up, bring up pain and grief and locked in trapped, um, you know, detrimental memories and stuff and feelings and bring them up without sh your, without your heart shutting down again against them. So this is a real cleansing of old, um, memories that maybe are stuck in your heart chakra that you can fully bring up without danger to your own spirit and face your truth with, um, with loving awareness. It's beautiful. It brings up, brings your well being about in a beautiful way. A lot of the readings I've been doing, it must be the, the vibration right now, but a lot of the signs have been about healing healing old past karmic traumas and pains. Um, and for you, we're going to, this is heart chakra centered. Okay. So let's see what the Zen cards tell us. We're going to use this tree spread here. The first branch is where you are now. And then using the rooted energy of the trunk, we get to move and propel upward and onward to newer and higher levels of awareness. Okay. All right, so Cancer, your starting point here is this card, the dream. Oh, look at that. Oh, so one of, the, um, one of the foremost themes of this card here in the Zen deck is that sometimes we have this thought that life should be a certain way. My life, you know, I grow up, live happily ever after, just like this princess and prince are, and this woman is dreaming of, that's her ideal, right? Grow up, live happily ever after. Um, or oh, fall in love too. Now, as we travel the days of our own personal experience in life, and we, you know, we come upon times of heartache and times of challenge and struggle and physical ailment, we realize that that dream, it's, it's a nice thing to aspire to, but if we don't reach it, it does not mean we failed. It means our life took a different path. It means that we have other lessons to learn. It means that we have karmic healing to apply. We have um, maybe more self-empowerment on our horizon. So we don't need to necessarily end up here in this happily ever after situation. Um, now, I like that this is your starting point because this is a gentle reminder. Since we're doing heart chakra work here, it's a gentle reminder for you that wherever you are is perfect and right. And any past pains or missteps or, um, you know, kind of missing the mark on your goals and your achievements any of those past regrets can be addressed and healed. You don't have to hang on to, oh, I wish, you know, I was, I don't know. I wish my life were different, <laughs> you know, in, in every given moment. You don't have to hang on to that energy because your life is beautiful and perfect and it is right now. It is happening now. And you have all the tools you need to create new dreams and to create new intentions going forward. But the first process in that, of course, is healing the regrets, healing the pain that may have stemmed from too rigid of, um, you know, expectations for yourself, right? So realizing that, that where you are now is the dream, right? Your soul and all that it's learned to this point is the dream. You are living the dream because you're learning and you're growing and you're gaining more knowledge as you go. And, um, you know, you're 
particular path is unique. It's only yours. So, I mean, how much more special could that be, right? So that's the starting point there. That's where we want to just have that acknowledgement that this, you know, my life is perfect in every moment, even in the moments of pain, because those moments of pain offer me the opportunity to grow and to gain new perspectives and to maybe share with others and then and then um, feel a closeness, you know, with others just through the opening up that we've done. So this is where we're starting, okay, with that understanding and that acknowledgement that we're good right here, okay? Within you and this internal energy that's supporting this process here is the past lives card. So I like to say sometimes that this is sort of a, um, you know, a guidance to be wary of repeating patterns in our lives, like action patterns, but patterns of, of acts that we repeat over and over, habits. But in because it's in this internal position and because we're talking of heart healing, I'm going to talk about some deeper karmic truths, some... Um, if you believe in past lives, then literally, you know, healing some of those. If you don't believe in that, then we're talking about deeper aspects of your own soul that may have been tucked away and left for, you know, left in the dark in order to, um, for your, your progress to be made. You've got to sometimes tuck things aside in order to be able to have the strength to go forward, right? Little old pains, old, um, um, you know, karmic um, sort of traumatic experiences, old uh, lessons that weren't fully learned. It's okay now to safely bring them up, especially with the support of the rhodochrosite, especially with that support, because your heart can remain open and allow the awareness of some of these darker energies to be present and your heart will stay protected at this time. Okay. In your external day-to-day -day life. Yeah. See past and past. So it looks like you have a lot of healing to do that pertains to your past cancer in your day-to-day -day world. This clinging to the past card is reminding us that hanging on to old memories um, as so say we have an old memory that occurred when we were in childhood and that sort of um, informed our, our path. It, it drove our life into the direction it did. Say you were a child who loved to speak up for themselves. You loved, I love to speak up for myself and I'm going to say what I feel. And then perhaps you had parents or authority figures or teachers that did not think that was okay. They called you sassy. They'd give you a slap on the wrist or a swat on the bottom, put you in timeout, put you in detention, whatever that you got punished for speaking your mind. That would be an old past pattern, an old past um, trauma or experience that you are stuck on now. And if you, if you're stuck on that now in your waking life thinking I can never speak up for myself because it only has bad outcomes. I can't do it. I can't do it. Then you're living like this figure with this past, the box of memories just boxed in around her head without, and then that really blocks her vision and her view and her awareness of what is here now, which is brightness. You know, these beautiful stars, the bright, beautiful rainbow sky up ahead that that beauty that is in your life today is shadowed is not you're, it's not as visible if you're stuck on these past patterns and habits i you know cannot speak up for myself so i'm going to stay that small little girl and that's what this clinging to the past card represents so what we're going to ask you to do here is break that pattern is um Shift it. Let some of that old stuff come up into your awareness. Your heart can take it. Trust me. 
These are memories. They're not, they're not real. They're memories. They really happened. But in this moment now, as you're healing them and bringing them forth, they are not real. They cannot harm you. And your heart knows that. And the energy of the rotocrosite also knows that and will protect you from it. So it is time to excavate some of this stuff from your past and safely let it up and out and heal it. Okay. This energy of the trunk, it's a rooted energy that is also going to allow us to reach up for the next level, for the next um, dimension, if you will. And that is this creativity card. This is beautiful. Full, I mean, shifting an aspect of you deep within, most likely down in your like second chakra area, if you do chakra work. Shifting, making shifts there and movements that will facilitate the um, unearthing of some of this old stuff. So maybe this is um, Kundalini for some of you doing some breath work. Maybe it is, um, you know, um, some body work, some massage, some essential oils down in that second chakra area. Or it could also be just being create, just using your creative skills, writing, journaling, singing, dancing, um, playing music, whatever, drawing, whatever feels, you know, gardening, any of it, there's creativity in all of that. And being able to um, unlock some of this old stuff. Now, keeping an awareness of some of these old patterns that you want to shift while being, you know, in your creative mode could really, really facilitate a big release of some of this old stuff. Write a song about it if you're a songwriter, you know. It's definitely um, a perfect process because remember, you're safe. Your heart will hold you. It will hold you and it will support you going forward in this release, okay? Your next level of awareness here is... Okay, so we've got some mind cards in this next level of awareness. It's all guided by your inner voice. It's anchored by what's within, your intuition, your third eye, the gut feeling, whatever you want to call it, your inner voice, that connection, you know, when you're alone and quiet and you speak with yourself, you know, that inner voice, that inner you. That's what's guiding all of this. And it is along with your heart, along with the energy of the rotocrosite, you are supported in this journey. So remember, even if you start to unearth some of this old stuff and try to make a shift and you find blockage, that's okay. Listen to your inner voice. Do I want to pause now? Do I need to push through this blockage? Should I jump over it? Should I ignore it for a minute? Um, you know, your inner guide knows how to proceed. So even in the unearthing of this energy, um, in, in order to go ahead and process it, you still listen to your own guide and that will get you through to the completion point, which is the, we'll get to that card in a minute, but that's definitely how you close that, the phase out. Now within you, we want now this politics card talks about the masks that we all wear. Some of us are, you know, at any given time, falsely representing ourselves or hiding aspects of ourselves. And because this is in an internal position, I want you to be ultimately um, just really attuned to the way and the facets of yourself that you hide from yourself. Because this is all inner work here. Uh, you know, this past patterns, this, you know, karmic energy, and then how we um, shield ourselves from our pain. And um, let's see, hide our, our, uh, our maybe toxic beliefs, you just hold them firm, <clears throat> firm in place. Such as the toxic belief that says, I cannot speak up for myself, because I will get a slap on the wrist. So I will not. That's an old pattern. That's a toxic belief. And it's untrue. It's not who you really are, right? So while you're in this process, stay acutely aware of the ways that you hide yourself from you. 
okay, or or shield yourself. Um, you know, with with all the love in the world, I can say we all do this. We all have a way to protect our our innermost being from ourself. We have a way of doing that. We we sometimes in our outer world we do that with substance. We do it with um, with food, with drinking, with um, you know some sort of addictive pattern. Every one of us has one way that we sort of run from ourselves and hide it. And that's okay. That's not a, there, there is no judgment about that. That is part of the human experience. And, but what we're asking for you to do at this time, cancer is to just shift your awareness toward that. And when you see those uncomfortable spaces arising and your, your instinct is to push it down or block it off or shield it, be more gentle, open up the heart. That's when you do the heart work. That's when you say, I will allow this aspect of myself who really just wants to speak up and shout out who I am. I will allow that to be there as uncomfortable as it may seem. I will allow it to be there just for now. That helps you in this whole process of the healing. And it helps you bring yourself to close out phases, to close out aspects of yourself that these, you know, this, these healing processes that of the aspects of yourself that no longer serve you. And it strengthens your intuition. It brings your trust in your inner voice more um, to the forefront and with sort of a stronger spine. And then the next time you go in to do a deep dive within you, you find the process is not as difficult the next time, right? And then the overall insight or the outcome of this card, of this uh, reading, I'm sorry, is the schizophrenia card. This is a mind-based card. This talks about, um, for the purposes of this reading, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to pin this as sort of a timing card. Sometimes it's about indecisiveness and what should I do, but I just got to trust. And that is true. And that is true. We do need to just trust the process. But I, I think that this is more about a timing thing for you at this time. When is it time for me to let fully go? When will my inner, and remember your inner voice and your creative process is going to help guide you as to when the right time is to bring some of this stuff up for you as far as the next layer and the next layer, right? It doesn't have to be all excavated at once. And um, I want you to just really, in the course of this, just choose one aspect of yourself, one past pain, one, even, no matter how insignificant it might seem to you now, allow it to be, um, allow it to bubble up and buoy up into your experience now so that you can heal it. You have the full support of spirit. And if you bring into mind the energy of the rotocrosite, you will certainly be able to heal more and more aspects of your heart as you go. <laughs>